Now I'm visiting Ryan Hembury at Skip Rock Distillers in Snohomish to learn how they make their award-winning potato vodka. And you are one of the only people in the state that does some potato vodka, is that right? Yeah, we're the main one. That Correct. is awesome, okay. So we're gonna learn the whole process. Absolutely, we're gonna go start to finish, grinding those potatoes, the cooking process, um, proofing it down to pour the final bottling and, and go from there. Maybe a little taste. A little taste, just yeah. a little bit. The first step is to grind up the potatoes in a hammer mill. How many potatoes go into the bottle? One bottle? Yeah. With the reds, it's about 12 to 13 pounds of potatoes. Of for potatoes. One bottle. That's so, amazing. Yeah. That's a lot of potatoes. The potato mash. Kind of looks like uh, berries and cream. Next, the potatoes are pumped into a giant pot and cooked for seven to eight hours. So once it sits in the and kind of cooks. After it cooks up, we pump it into our fermentation tanks. Okay. Uh, these, are, these are great thousand liter tanks. Don't require additional cooling. So we'll go ahead and uh, it ferments in here for about four to five days. The next step is to add some water to the vodka. Just a little bit more. Perfect, that's okay. good. Okay. All right. Then we take a sample to measure the exact alcohol content. All right, this is the hydrometer. So it, it measures the density, the water, amount of water, and the amount of alcohol in, uh, in a sample. Get a little, make sure there's no air bubbles attached to it. Yeah. You ever feel like a bad scientist? Yeah, oh, it's oh, kind oh, of fun. Oh. Yeah. Once the alcohol content is at 70 proof, it's ready to be distilled. So what made you decide to do potato vodka? You know, I wanted to do something different. Uh, I was getting into distilling and the, the idea of opening a, a distillery. I looked around what was in the marketplace and pretty much everything was grain vodka. A majority it's wheat and corn, less than 1% of all the vodka in the entire world is potato. And I just wanted to create something a little different and a little unique. And we have amazing potato growers here in Washington State. What's the difference like in taste between a potato vodka and one that's made with, with grain or? I think for us, uh, for me, uh, what I get is potato vodka has a little bit more body to it. It has more flavor. Uh, it's got this, we call it creamy, earthy, sweet flavor profile. Reminiscent of that potato. We don't over distill, over process the, the vodka that we make. So it's got a lot of that flavor still left in. And now my favorite part of the tour, the tasting. Taste it. Um, you know, a little sip, that first sip is oftentimes going to be, you kind of get your taste buds going a little bit. Uh, and then take a second sip and you kind of chew on it a little bit and you'll get the different flavors and everything. You don't need to swirl it like wine. That actually, it's high alcohol, so that's just going to, um, especially in these glasses, it just, it's not really needed. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah. yeah. And I think potato vodka makes a nice, really nicely smooth product. 